So we're here at the lock and level stand. We've got these. We've got a twin axle, and we've got what is it? The we've got the we've got the twin set of this. The twin set of this. Um, we find it really good. Um, Andy really likes it. It's an inflatable uh, leveling system. Um, apart from that. I Okay, so no, she's, she's, she's done well. It's an inflatable level system for caravans, not for motorhomes. Um, but basically, because we've got a twin axle, <clears throat> you have, um, you, you've got locks on your axles um, and you have to fit them for your insurance. Um, and really the only way, unless you're really lucky like we were once, twice now, um, unless you get both receivers in exactly the right place or you've got a different locking system, um, you, you're gonna need something like this. Um, there's another system, EMP. Don't talk about them, it's too expensive. Um, this one here, fantastic value. Basically, you put this under, roll your caravan onto these onto these airbags. Okay, and the wheels sit on top. You inflate one wheel, inflate one bag, that lifts the wheel up. You can then turn the opposite, the second wheel. Line up your receiver, drop the bag down, put your locks on and then level it again so you can then inflate both bags at the same time. Um, we've got it down to about 10 minutes, it's about 10 minutes, literally from getting the caravan into a position where we can slide the bags and guide them against the wheels, move the caravan forward, slide the, the mat under, put the wheels back onto the bags, inflate, set the locks and then get the caravan level again. It's about 10 minutes I'd say. Yeah? Good, good estimate. We should time it really. And if you're not sure about, <coughs> because the locks are on one side and you use the twin bags on one side. If the caravan's out of level the opposite way, you use the single bag on the lock side and put the twin bag on the opposite side, I think it was. We've not, not really had a chance to do that because we've never been really off, off, off level that way. Um, but you use the single bag here and that single bag allows you to level up on the opposite side. So if it's near side, low you can then jack up the near side and still get access to your right hand locks with the other bags um, so we're here today um, we've got the guys here we spoke to them yesterday um, we've got there's a, a young gentleman and his dad i believe is that right yep. yeah yeah i'm andrew and my that's, dad that's right andrew because yeah, yeah same name my dad <laughs> was the inventor of it yeah um and yeah i'm now taking over the company as well yeah good you see it's a great product we've like say so we've had it we bought it in 2020. Yeah. I think we bought it online from you guys. Yep. Um, when we were in lockdown, I think. It was just outside of lockdown, because that's when we bought the caravan. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we were looking for different things, not going to pay the price of the uh, hydraulics. <clears throat> yep. Not doing that. And this was, expensive. I think this one came in at the time about 270. So there's a little bit of an increase now. It's been a couple yeah. of years, but with everything. So, yeah, we love it. Like I say, the first, first time was a bit, that was a learning curve. But since then, since yeah, then, once, it's, you've, once you've had a bit of practice, it can be done 10 15 minutes. Yeah, and yeah, yeah getting your, your Alco locks on in particular makes it an absolute breeze. That's right, yeah. So, so when we were off, we, we've, not, we've not been off level to the near side, near side low. But when you're near side low, you use the two bags on the left hand side and the single bag on the right exactly. side. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's our combo pack. Yes. Um, so, if, you, if you're going to sites regularly where you know you're going to be uneven, maybe on either side combo pack has been completely covered for yeah. any situation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that was one of my concerns to start off with, with, with leveling the, the twin axle, if it was off. So yeah, I, I called it the twin set, sorry, it's the combo. Yep. Com yeah, combo Yeah, twin axle yeah. combo pack, combo pack. So yeah, it's, um, it's great, I mean, it's never failed us. We do use a bit of rubber mat underneath for- It's always good to protect bits. it, yeah, to yeah. make sure there's nothing sharp in the grass, or particularly on hard standing, you don't want anything to damage the bag. No, that's right. <clears throat> I think some people, Use bits of carpet. Yeah, that right? I think yeah. we've heard that yeah. before. A bit of astroturf, yeah. a bit of foam, yeah. anything yeah, that, yeah. that will uh, stop anything sharp damaging the Yeah, but otherwise, yeah, we've not had a problem. It's never deflated. Uh, there was, you know, there was some concerns about the deflation side, but it's never done it. And bounce, there's a tiny bit, but I think you get that anyway because just naturally with the car, unless you jack yeah. the thing up on your legs, which you don't really yeah, want to do. Yeah, because there's natural bounce from your suspension and the tyres. Yeah. Um, yeah. But once your steadies are down. It, they're designed to kill the bounce. That's it, yeah, and exactly. Same with the lock and level, it basically kills all of the bounce. Yeah. All right, lovely. All right, Thanks so just, just show the current prices. Yep. These are show prices. Yep, this week only. 
So if you've got single axle, obviously, I don't have to go through this, but this is the one we have, and that's if you have uh, an uneven site where your left-hand side, near side, is lower than the right-hand side. You would need that if you've got the twin axle. A high five twin, what's that? So that's one of these big boys. Oh, okay. Those ones are capable of holding the four-ton fifth-wheeler like caravans. Right. Yeah, like an overland. They can actually be used on a standard twin axle caravan as well. Yes. Um, but they don't have the dual <coughs> chamber design. I see. So that. If, you, if you don't have Alco through the wheel locks, then that is an option for you. Yeah. Um, <coughs> but another downside of that is you can't use it as a, a jack to change a tyre. So with, okay. uh, with the yeah. twin axle version, yes. if you have a blowout on the motorway, and particularly if you've got motor movers fitted, you've lost your jack points. So you can yes. use the twin axle level to change a change a wheel. Good point, good point. Something I've forgotten about actually. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Changing tires, changing wheels. Excellent. Brilliant. Um and I am right in saying these are not for motorhomes at all are they? It's funny you should ask. Oh so development? These are not for motorhomes, these ones are just for caravans. Yeah. We have a motorhome home version in testing at the moment. Oh brilliant. We hope to have it on the market in the spring. Excellent. Lovely. Brilliant. You heard it here first? Possibly. Pretty much first. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, who would have thought it? Right, so we're going to disappear now. Thanks for watching. If you've got a caravan, twin axle, single, and you need levelling issues, or you've got levelling issues, give these guys a shout. Brilliant system. Can't recommend it enough. Cheers. Thank you. See you again. Bye. <laughs>